Hi there, it's Denise from Salvaged Inspirations and thanks so much for joining me today. Today I'm going to be sharing a product I've been using that greatly helps me when it comes to painting shiny, glossy, slick surfaces. Uh, if you don't feel like sanding, but you want a product that's going to make the paint adhere to a very slick surface, I have just the thing. I'm gonna be demonstrating on this cedar chest that I have in behind me here that has a really high gloss varnish on it. However, it works great on laminates, malamine, um, shellac, varnished furniture, and it also works really great on projects if you're working with metals, glass, plastic, PVC, etc. So just let me get set up and I'll be right back. So Slick Stick does exactly what it says. It sticks to slick surfaces. Uh, it is water-based, uh, however, they do recommend you still use protective gloves, a mask for, or great ventilation if you have a window that you can open or, or a larger space that you can work in. Um, but it's not as harsh as some of the other primers that you can buy, for instance, say at Home Depot, etc., like BIN shellac-based primer, which I'm a huge fan of. However, I know some people have a hard time with the smell because it, it, it really does have an odor. So this is a great alternative if you want a water-based primer that helps paint stick to any shiny surface. This is not going to be a stain blocker. It's not going to block any bleed through on furniture. The only time I actually use Slick Stick is when I do not want to sand at all and I'm working with a glossy finish and I want the paint to adhere. So it's like a problem solver when you really, really don't want to take out that sander, go through all the sanding and then prime. So it's kind of a shortcut for you for glossy surfaces. Um, it doesn't only work on furniture, as I said, if you have any sort of project uh, that's made out of metal, glass, plastics, tiles, ceramic, porcelain, um, I'm trying to think what else you could use it for. I even saw on Etsy somebody that was selling um, this slick stick and they actually painted their appliances. They, they painted their fridge using slick stick first and then I think it was pink. <laughs> it looked really cute. I believe they painted their old refrigerator pink, uh, but this did help the paint adhere. So what you'll need is some slick stick. It comes in eight ounce, 16 ounce and 32 ounce. This is the larger one. Um, how I like to apply it, well first let me say most people do apply it with a brush because it's water-based. You can use your nicer brushes on it and they will clean up just with soap and water as you usually, as you usually wash them out. Um, however, I prefer applying all my primers with a roller. And they're the foam high density rollers. They're the foam rollers. I get them at the dollar store, a pack of two for a dollar. I'm not wearing my glasses. A <laughs> dollar. I don't know how much that says. I don't know. It's like a dollar fifty or a dollar seventy five. Or you can get the exact same thing at Home Depot. And I believe the pack of four is maybe six dollars. Um, it's somewhere in and around there. Uh, I just find using a roller for my primers, it, it goes a lot faster. Um, I do love brushing furniture, however, I prefer to do that for the decorative part of it, uh, not necessarily for the prep part. Prep part, I just want it done with, I want to get on with it, I want to get on with the fun part. So I find that a roller works really, really well. And then I'll use a brush to go into the smaller nooks and crannies that the roller can't get into. Um, to have this work really well, what you're going to need is to apply one coat on the total surface, let it dry for two hours, apply a second coat, and then wait 24 hours before you paint. Um, it suggests 24 hours, but I know some people just wait overnight and then maybe they paint after, you know, 16 hours or 18 hours. I'm sure that's fine. Um, but yeah, you want to wait overnight before you start your decorative painting on your piece for your project. So I'm just going to get this all set up and show you how nicely it goes on. I've cleaned this chest with Dixie Bell's White Lightning. Um, but you could use whatever cleaner. You could use water and vinegar, TSP, whatever cleaner you actually prefer to use. Just make sure that you rinse it with warm water and really, really rinse all that residue off before you start applying the slick stick. Now, what I wanted to show you was this sticks to everything. 
including the lid. <laughs> um, including the lid. It is so hard if you have any leftover slick stick on the rim and then you put, cause this is an older jar, and then you put the lid on, you're gonna have a heck of a time getting this lid off. So I wanna use the rest of this, but I'm actually going to have to pry it off or break it off. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, we're using the rest of this. Okay, so, <laughs> I mean, this stuff really sticks. There we go. It really sticks. This stuff really sticks. Okay. So you wanna give it a good shake. I like pouring it out onto um, a paper plate or a styrofoam plate because again, I do prefer using a roller. So this makes it nice and easy for me. Uh, I'd actually be curious as to how many square feet this uh, slick stick actually covers. I might do some research and I'll put that on the blog post at salvagedinspirations.com um, for the blog post that goes along with this piece of furniture. And I'll include it in the link in the description below for you. Okay, I've poured the slick stick onto a plate. I have my roller. You can also lightly spray your roller just to give the slick stick a little more movement. Put some on your roller. And it will apply exactly like paint. Again, I did not sand this piece because slick stick will not, slick stick will not uh, cover any stains. won't cover any stains, bleed through, etc. So you want to use this on pieces that have not been sanded, that have a gloss finish that you want paint to adhere to. I'll just go in with my roller and this does really make it nice and fast and easy it really does just go on like a paint no difference really to get into all these nooks and crannies I'll actually use my brush between all of my coats. However, with this primer, you don't need to. You can apply the two coats and do no sanding in between. Again, with the brush, you slightly missed it, so you have a little bit more movement. And you can get into all the areas that the brush cannot, or sorry, that the water-based it does dry fairly fast but you still do it's it's workable like you do have some workability time to this
After my first coat is painted, a little tip I like to use is plastic wrap to preserve my roller and brush. This way, with any water-based products, including the Slick Stick, you can wrap it in plastic wrap. It's airtight. I find it even better than plastic baggies, which I know a lot of people also store their brushes in, in between painting. But I do find, because it's such an airtight seal, the brushes can last even up to a couple of days in this plastic wrap. Um, and it really saves a lot of time. You don't need to wash your brushes in between each, each coat. After two hours, I came back down to my studio to apply the second coat of Slick Stick Primer. Uh, I unwrapped the brushes from their plastic wrap. And as you can see, the second coat gives a really, really good coverage. Um, I do the exact same steps as with the first coat and then I let it dry overnight before coming back down to start painting. So here's where the fun starts. I brought out my Dixie Belle Red, I added Would You Bend, and I laid down the first coat the next day. Uh, this chest turned out really, really cute. Here's the before, and here's the after. Thank you so very much for joining me today. I hope you found this helpful. Feel free to subscribe and visit me at salvagedinspirations.com. I'm also on Instagram, Facebook, and of course here on YouTube. Take care and have a great day.